So I just got back from watching The Fall Guy. This is my quick out of theater reaction, no spoilers. I will have a full review coming tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. But I had a feeling I would dig this one and I walk out and I go, you know what? That was a blast. I had a lot of fun with it. Ryan Gosling is doing his Ryan Gosling thing. He's charming, charismatic. He's over the top at times, but that's kind of what Ryan Gosling does, and he has his character that he plays, and that's what we get here. The chemistry between him and Emily Blunt really clicked for me in this rom-com vibe. And David Leach, let's put some respect on his name. I always have. Bullet Train's one of my favorites of 2022. He crushed it with Deadpool 2, and even Hobbs and Shaw, a movie that is in the Fast and Furious franchise, is a standout there. The man knows how to direct action, and we get that here. He even said it in a little prelude before the film that it's like a love letter to stunts and movie making, and that shines through when you watch it. The movie does shed a light on an aspect of filmmaking that we don't really think about a lot. I think a lot of us as fans of movies can take stuntmen for granted, and this movie puts them at the forefront. It's meta in a way. It almost shows us the behind the scenes of filmmaking. My girlfriend put it in a really clever way. She said, this movie is to the action genre, as scary movie is to the horror genre. It parodies it in a way, but also has some genuinely awesome action scenes. The movie clocks in at two hours and six minutes. It's a little long-winded at times, surprisingly. I'd say the first act is the slowest, but once the ball gets rolling for this movie, at about the midway point, it's all gas, no breaks from there, and I was in. This is the kind of movie where you go and get a large popcorn and icy, maybe some Reese's Pieces. This is just my ideal movie day. You put the Reese's Pieces in the popcorn, kick back, relax, and enjoy the fun. It's got the romance, it's got the comedy, the cheesiness, all of that, but it's just a summer fun movie, and that's what I wanted it to be. It's not perfect. It's flawed, like I said overly long with some pacing issues, specifically in the earlier parts of the film. You could argue it even feels a little rushed in the end, but altogether... The Fall Guy is fun, and that's what I figured it would be. If you've liked the marketing, if you're a fan of David Leach and the main actors, you know what you're getting yourself into. That's what The Fall Guy delivers on, and I'm A-OK -okay with that. It was a very enjoyable time at the movies, and I'll have a lot more to dive into, both pros and cons, in my review dropping tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. This is just my quick out-of-theater reaction. Ryan Gosling's the man, he's handsome as hell, and shout-out Aaron Taylor Johnson. Might have stole the show, more on him in the review, but that'll do it. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Comment your expectations for this film down below, as well as your thoughts if you have seen it, and stay tuned for the full review coming tomorrow. Thank you guys, as always, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>